up until days ago? Yeah, because they didn't fit together at all. So tell me where you're from. Indiana. What brings you all the way from Indiana to Arkansas? Well, we saw some YouTube videos online after looking and going through both me and my father, several dentists, yeah. and not having our teeth fit together the right way and having jaw issues. So we came to get results. We met about three, four days ago. We ran you through screening. What did you think of the screening? The MRI, the CT, the EMGs, the jaw tracking, all that? It was the most in-depth screening for anything I think I've ever had. But at least for the past few years, maybe longer, I've been consciously aware that not all of my teeth touch. Yeah. I've only been chewing on one side, and it's causing, it was causing cramping up in my jaw and up underneath. Mm -hmm. And when it would get, especially the underneath, it'd be so bad that it would keep my jaw clenched shut. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, when I heard that we were, had found somebody good, I wanted to come out and see if there's something we could do to adjust and fix that. Sure, so you, you saw the videos and it, it gave it's you a little bit impressive. of hope. pretty impressive, yeah. Gave you a little bit of hope, right? Yeah, because I mean, I, yeah. I got worked on less than a month before I came here. Yeah, and, and tell us about that. It, what it came out, I sat in the chair to get some fillings done all day. And after about the sixth time that they had sat there and adjusted things, things still didn't fit together right. The bonding they put in there didn't feel like real teeth. I finally pretty much gave up and said, you know what, guys, we all got to go home. So I, I le finally left after being there all day, and it, it still wasn't right. But I was told that that was as good as it could get. And then afterwards, I've been in such pain on the teeth that they worked on with hot and cold. Yeah. It's unbelievable. One joint was a hair worse than the other. But you were amenable to the bite stuff. So we you did the computerized, computer-directed bite adjustments on you. We call it MAGD. What did it feel like? What difference did it make? Well, for the first time, all my teeth finally touch. Yeah. I can actually actually have them touching together and actually chew on both sides without having any real issue. And then the hot and the cold pain is a night and day difference. Yeah. I mean, after like three minutes of you adjusted certain teeth, yeah. pain is immediate difference. Yeah, a lot of the adjustments were on the fillings that they did. Right. And we're using computers, they're using ink ribbon. Yeah, analog versus digital, there's no comparison. And you know, the, the other thing is, um, the last dentist didn't understand the joint factors, what comes into play from the joint, nor did they understand the research behind what tooth hits when and how that's relevant to everyday practice. Yeah, so you have a TMJ problem, but it, in your case, it's not so nasty that it's debilitating, it's just irritating, right? Yep. Did you have tension or headaches or anything like that? Oh, yeah. Every day, in the back of my neck. Yeah. And at the worst days, be up in my eyes to wear light hurts, I mean, like, full of migraines. Was that before the fillings were done by those guys or after? Before and after. So it but didn't get any better? It didn't get any better. It might have got worse. Honestly. So we did things two days ago. Has it changed? Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, okay. I'm not even sleeping on the right kind of mattress out here because we brought the RV out, as you know. Yeah. And I would have expected my neck to hurt so bad from sleeping like that. And, yeah. I mean, the combination of having the stress of it gone and having it adjusted where it fits right, I have nothing to complain about right now. Feels pretty good. It does. And the cold thing. It's huge. Yeah, you were, if I remember right, you were about an eight out of 10. I wanted to say a 10 out of 10, but the, you know, they always say if you're that, you should be in the hospital. Sure. But I mean, it, it went from all, all the way up there to, I could sit there and switch water for you for an hour. Yeah, no big deal. Yep. Uh, isn't that crazy how just a bite thing will change the thermal problem? Oh, absolutely. It's amazing. All right, so any advice for people, you know, what do you think? I mean, you don't have to be a severe case to come get work done. Yeah, for sure. You know, I'm trying to avoid, I've seen in our family what getting the wrong work done for a long period of time will do to you. That's why when I heard that they were coming out, I wanted to come as well and see if there's anything we can do to prevent future breakdown before it gets to a point where we can't fix it. Prevention is a whole lot better than cure. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yours was... You're already damaged, but lots of us are damaged in the joint. I mean, that's common. But dentists assume that most people are normal, but they're ignorant to it because they never look at the joints with imaging, MRI imaging. A few of them look at CT, but they don't even really know what they're looking at. But those are the hinges to a big door. And if the hinges are a little bit altered, cartilage and ligament are torn up here, up here in the TMJ, that alters the bite. You have to understand, and you have to know if the hinges are stable. Are they actively breaking down or not? So in your case, they weren't actively breaking down. So you're, 
we predict your bite to be lasting. The change that we made on you should be very lasting. And it should help you. And it seems like it did, right? I would say so. Okay. And you're going to come back and we're going to be doing veneers on you. Absolutely. Right? You've got a bunch of bondings from trauma back when you were a kid on the front seat. So we're going to be doing porcelain. And we're going to replicate your anatomy to make sure we don't mess your bite up using CERC technology, the 3D stuff. Yeah. So, all right. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it.